OK, so now we're going to apply this feedback equation to simplifying this loop. So the whole goal to simplifying this loop is we want to basically look at this whole equation and draw a block around it and get rid of all of these extra numbers. And we're simplifying this to be just an input and then a transfer function which I'm going to say is GCL for G of closed loop and then the output. So all of this will be simplified into a single block and that's the whole goal of the closed loop feedback equation. So what I've done is I've put some values 1 over s plus 1 um, and then 2 for a value. Don't worry too much about the s being there but we will use that later on. Uh, it's a, a Laplace transform which um, shows that there's a time delay in the system. OK, so we can write G of CL, the, the closed loop, is G over 1 plus GH. And just to clarify, G is the forward transfer function and H is the value of the feedback. OK, so I can rewrite that and say G over 1 plus GH. So G is 1 over S plus 1. And divided by... 1 plus 1 over s plus 1 times h, which is 2. OK, so I can rewrite that and say we have 1 over s plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 over s plus 1. And to simplify the, the bottom, if I just go along this side, so I've got 1 over s plus 1, and the 1 has to have a common denominator, so to add these two together, I rewrite 1 as s plus 1 over s plus 1, and that will be added to 2 over s plus 1. Okay, so it's quite easy to see that I can then say 1 over s plus 1, all divided by, and we've got a common denominator here, so that is s plus 1, and s plus 1 plus 2 will be s plus 3. OK, so to simplify this, what we can do is, we to divide, what we can do is we take the um, denominator, invert it, and multiply. So at the risk of going off the page slightly, I'll just move down. I can rewrite and say 1 over s plus 1 times s plus 1 over s plus 3. Sorry, s plus 3. OK. So what we're doing is dividing, we're inverting and multiplying. Now, s plus 1 cancels out with the s plus 1 at the top. So the answer is 1 over s plus 3. So to go back to the original simplified version, I can now rewrite this whole transfer function as an input x and the transfer function is 1 over s plus 3 and we have the output.